New York, Milan, Paris. When the fashion weeks of fashion capitals have dismantled their runways, fashionistas dream of one thing, revamping their wardrobe. And when you're in London, there's nothing like having a fashion getaway at Bista Village. In the heart of the English Oxfordshire countryside, attached to the city of Bicester and its some 30,000 inhabitants and about 20 kilometers away from Oxford is Bicester Village, a temple of luxury where all your shopping dreams come true. The second most visited place in Britain after Buckingham Palace is full of surprises. Here, everything is done to facilitate your new clothing collection, and the buying fever takes hold whatever the season. Under the auspices of Value Retail, here is a selection of more than 160 beautiful brands, most of which belong to the luxury apparel and accessories market, and which have on the facades of their shops the names of the most prestigious houses. From Rupert Sanderson Shoes to Mulberry and Churches, Ted Baker London and the Cambridge Satchel Company, all British creations are unveiled behind these display windows. Amazed, we almost forget to tell you the most important piece of information. Here, the luxury brands are available at discounted prices. Le début a commencé en 1995 et ça a été inspiré par le fondateur Scott Malkin. It started in 1995 and was inspired by founder Scott Malkin, an American-Canadian who created two Rodeo Drive. Rodeo Drive was the first inspiration, and from there was born the idea of a Rodeo Drive in Europe. But what was clear was that there were quite a few Rodeo Drives, New Bond Street, Maximilianstrasse, St. Honoré, etc. So the idea to combine the elegance of Rodeo Drive with an outlet was very, very unique. Mais de combiner l'élégance de Rodeo Drive avec le outlet était très, 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 très unique. The first stop on our little journey is a shop where the most fashionable leather goods of the moment are available at Anya Hindmarches. The name's eponymous label proposes models that marry pop culture, bright colors, and playful patterns to sophisticated expertise to better assert the irreverent air and very British humor, particularly appreciated by an Asian clientele. Stella McCartney, does this name ring a bell? The most ethical of British designers also offers her creations at Bister Village. Just like one of the favorite brands of Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge, she very regularly wears the chiffon and embroidered sequin dresses by Temperley London. Un très très grand défi, mais uh, qui a demandé énormément de patience, beaucoup de vision, it was a great challenge that demanded a lot of patience, a lot of vision, and lots of convincing. Bit by bit, the vision became contagious. The brands understood. The success of one brought about another success, and another, etc. And through word of mouth, everything developed. I think the magical combination is that we're able to bring together brands that the clients want. We looked for a very international client who understood fashion and who demanded quality. And once that was established, we were able to develop huge partnerships with our brands. In addition to the typically British luxury boutiques or those with French, American or Italian nuances such as Dior, Michael Kors, Gucci and Versace, among the many personalized services that Bister Village can offer, there is one that is simply incredible, aptly named The Apartment. A true luxury shopping experience for VIP customers that can be booked by appointment only. Upon arrival, you will be greeted by a dedicated personal shopper who will guide you through the many labels and introduce you to newly arrived collections. Even pieces that are not yet in the shops. The choice is yours.
The apartment is a real apartment, as its name suggests. It is a suite of three rooms with changing rooms, which can be used together or separately for private meetings, designed by famous interior designers Carden Cugnetti. The decor is in the purest English style, that of a traditional country manor, with fireplaces, oak herringbone parquet and linen and velvet tapestries, not to mention the many soft sofas and armchairs. A cozy and comfortable haven of peace to try out all the privately selected outfits, and ideal for recharging yourself during a long day of frantic shopping. All under the welcoming portrait of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II in person, made by fashion photographer David Bailey. The point fort is that it's not pretentious, it's an agencement very convivial. Its strong points are that it's not pretentious, its layout is friendly, it's the transformation that we have successfully created year after year, to update the brands, to renew and invest in the village, with all the changes in our garden for example. Our clients really need an oasis of happiness, especially in a world where everyone is very pushy, it's always buy, buy, buy and very stressful at the same time. Each boutique has its own personality. Here, it's just a walk in the garden with a soft hint of magic. As a destination for luxury shopping at reduced prices, Bisto Village has gotten so big that even a dedicated rail line has been built to serve it. A great way to make a quick getaway here directly from London. Oxford fut l'endroit idyllique au niveau de la connectivité avec la grande capitale étant Londres, Heathrow. Oxford was the idyllic place in terms of connectivity with London, Heathrow, an international airport, the highways, the M40 motorway, and so it was a totally natural choice to build a place which today has become a global reference. And we were inspired by this reference to do all the branding of our company under the name of Bister Village Shopping Collection. And so Bister, 25 years later, has 11 brothers and sisters in Europe and China. Et Bister, donc 25 ans plus tard, a 11 frères et sœurs, toute l'Europe et la Chine. A complete immersion in the lair of luxury perfume. Ben Halligan's, the 19th century perfume house, offers you its deliciously vintage charm and its precious fragrances with names that flourish with the expertise of a perfumer who started in 1870, the barber William Henry Penhaligon. Lily of the Valley, Impressa, Savoy Steam, Orange Blossom, Halfetti or Luna, so many delicious scents in their vintage bottles that were the delight of the Duke of Edinburgh and the Prince of Wales, and well before them, Queens Victoria and Alexandra. Against all odds, at Bista Village, British art lovers will not be disappointed either. The brand new Tate store opened its doors to discover the talent of renowned artists from Roy Lichtenstein to Andy Warhol through to Frida Kahlo, Yayoi Kusama and Pablo Picasso, available as unusual decorative objects. I, well, I've been working for Tate for about three years now across a couple of our different galleries. Um, we wanted to work with Vista Village because we're so close to London. So you can jump on a train, you can be at one of the galleries within an hour, which is great, or you can come from one of the galleries to Vista Village within an hour, which is a really exciting opportunity for people to sort of share that collaboration and experience two different sides when they come and visit the UK. Here we find modern art in all its forms, from posters and mugs, glasses and socks, to tote bags and scarves, and even a skateboard from new collaborations. Tate, uh, we're very much about sort of representing a wide range or wide breadth of artists, so we wanted to make sure that we were representing a good majority, so we've got pieces that kind of come from the Tate Britain collections, from Tate Modern collections, Liverpool St Ives, we've got Liechtenstein, which represents pop art, you've got Ophelia, you've got John Everett Millay, um, and right behind me we've got the vintage posters, which are from all our previous shows, um, so it kind of gives you a nice round idea of what Tate's about, and then we also have some really beautiful gifting, we have an amazing book selection. 
For young and old, it's love at first sight for wool characters from the adventures of Miffy, the famous little rabbit created under the pen of the Dutch artist Dick Brunner in 1955. But the most unexpected experience during our visit was virtual. Visiting painter Modigliani's studio, where he worked and lived during the last months of his life. Impossible to reproduce it in images, so you have to discover it live, like all the activities of Bista Village. As in any elegant capital city, gastronomy is top of the list in Bista Village, whether it's sweet or salty. Stop for a gourmet break at Café Wolseley, a new branch from the same group as the Wolseley, the incredible Mayfair Café restaurant in London for a chic afternoon tea. It's at nightfall that Bister Village unveils its unexpected charms. Soft lights and twilight magic are on the agenda. A fairy tale setting for wealthy princes and princesses of modern times, as the lucky guests of this place might believe, at least for a day.